set out 19 traditional rulers in the southwest region have called for the immediate release of the aid of the Yoruba activist, Mr. Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Boho, who were arrested by operatives of the Department of State Service, DSS, during a raid on his Ibadan Oyo state residence. The monarch, under the edges of Forum of the Yoruba Obas, also demanded compensation for the families of those killed during the raid. The DSS had on July 1st raided Ibohu's residence in Ibadan, Oyo State, arrested 13 of his eight and killed two others. The traditional rulers in a statement titled The Position of the Forum of Yoruba Obas on the recent inversion of Sunday Adeyemo's house by the operatives of the DSS and the states of the nation described the invasion of Ibo's home and killing of his heads as an infragment of their fundamental human rights. The statement was signed by the president of the forum and Molokun of Atijeri Kingdom on those states, Oba Samuel Adeoye. Edema One, its General Secretary, Dr. Abdurazak Abuye, Olukotun of Ikotun Ile Kwara State, and 17 others. The monarch said, As traditional rulers, we cannot bury our heads in the sand like an ostrich on a very sensitive issue like this, which, if not well managed, could further you know, polarize the oneness and unity of Nigeria, considering the recent calls by prominent people in and outside the shores of Nigeria for the disintegration of Nigeria as one indissoluble and indivisible entity. We strongly condemn in its you know entire you know the entirety the inversion and the gruesome wonder of the people at Sunday Boho's house on July 1st, 2021. We believe the killing by the officers of the DSS is unwarranted and unjustifiable. A violence breached of the fundamental rights of those who were killed by the overzealous officers in Sunday Adeyemo's house. We hereby called for the immediate release of those arrested at his residence. We demand that there must be an adequate compensation for the family of those people who were murdered during the compass in the, during the operation. Pardon. We equally, in the same vein, called on President Muhammad Buhari to cause a discreet and holistic investigation into the volatile issue, while we, as custodian of tradition, an advocate of peace will not shield or encourage anyone to break the law of the land. We make bold the state and we are saying that the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is very clear and unambiguous that the governor of the state is the chief security officer of the state and as such, His Excellency Governor Shei Makinde ought to be approached you know, of any move to cause the arrest of anyone in Oyo State who has or is likely to cause serious security breach before such a person or group of persons can be arrested, they said. All the state of the nation the monarch lamented that insecurity in Nigeria had reached an alarming, you know, crescendo that triggered a great concern for traditional rulers and other Nigerians, adding that with every state in Nigeria grappling with different forms of insecurity, it appears peace is gradually eluding the Nigerian state. The Obas said, there is no iota of doubt to postulate that Nigeria is currently battling 
its worst level of insecurity. Nigeria has never had it this bad since the Civil War, which engaged in 1970, although we cannot, you know, but commend the effort of the President Muhammad Buhari towards curbing these enormities of insecurity, which has pervaded all sections of the country. We believe that a lot must be done by the President Muhammad Buhari to put an end to the issue of insecurity that is currently shaking the very foundation and corporate existence of Nigeria. Hardly can one safely you know, postulate that there is any region in Nigeria today that is safe. The security life and property you know, is one of the core responsibilities of the government and the government must do everything possible in this regard. We commend the giant step taken by the Southwest governors to put in place a security outfit, Amotekun, which has undoubtedly assisted a great deal in curbing insecurity that we have been, you know, surprising in the Southwest. It is irrefutable today that the fear of Amotekun is now the beginning of wisdom for marauders, kidnappers, armed robbers, and bandits in the southwest. This is highly commendable. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to what has been said? It is obvious that the number one priority of a government is the safety and the security of their lives and their properties. But Nigeria has failed in this part. What do you think can be done in this present situation? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the conversation on the present development. I'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this, it has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. RDBC Gafar Olani reacted and said, They are just waking up from their slumber. No tyrant can dominate your kingdom. Speak out your mind and tell the terrorists and oblivion government to stop killing your people. Work towards the Yoruba nation. Enough is enough. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this that Adebisi have said? That you know, they are just waking up from your slumber. No tyrant can dominate your kingdom. You just need to speak out your mind and tell the terrorists and also the oblivion government to stop killing your people. And on the same hand, we have Evangelist Prince who have also reacted and said, It's time to rise up for our people. I think Evangelist now is trying to say it's time for a referendum. What is your thought about this? I would like you to drop your thoughts and comments via the conversation on the present development we have had about the 19th Southern, you know, Southwestern, you know, monarch that has demand for the release, you know, the immediate release of the eight, that is the Igbo's eight, who were being, you know, arrested during the raid by the Department of State Service on Iboho's residence. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.